So this is my attempt at a nursery, which is pretty shit. <laughs> we were going really good. We had these little trees. I got these little seeds from some trees around here that the bees love. And I planted them up and watered them up. And they were going awesome. Then we had a heat wave. And when I got home from work, the jolly things had been fried. So I've only got a few left in my trays. I've been diligently keeping the few alive. So these poor little trays that have got left here, they, they just, they basically survived the poor devastation of 45 degrees, baking in a hot little plastic pot. So I figure these are fighters, so they can get a, they can get another chance. We're gonna go and plant them out there. I reckon it was funny because I was saying to me, <laughs> my young son-in-law that we're going to plant these trees and he said how long are they going to take to grow and I said oh I don't know 20 years and he went bloody hell that won't be much point will it and I said no probably not for me but somebody will still somebody will enjoy them and hopefully in 20 years time they'll be a nice big tree and the girls will have a good feed and maybe they'll remember me not lightly anyway so we're going to go around the side of the other part of the yard here eeny meeny miny mo picks which ones gets to go Something like that, isn't it? I don't know. We don't need too many because I haven't got a real big space. I've got a different spot where the rest are gonna go. But just for the just for the purpose of this, we're gonna take this one, I reckon. And I don't know. That one there. That looks like a good one. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, that. Like being a waiter. God, I had a crack at being a waiter. That's a stupid job too. What was that? Gum tree anyone? Anybody? Anybody order the gum trees? Ah, sorry, that was just a stupid restaurant joke if you didn't get it. <laughs> so I got all motivated out here on the other day and ran a bit of a dripper line down here so I can plant these gum trees. And, I don't know, it's probably all, where are you? It's probably all a bit pointless, but still, <laughs> every bit helps. Because if you have a look here, I'm pretty sure this bloke didn't have any idea about beekeeping. But he planted this beautiful gum tree here that the girls are loving. So I don't know if you can check them out just flying around here, having a bit of a having a bit of a nibble. Like I don't think we're going to make any great honey flow out of one tree, obviously. But like I said earlier, every tree helps. So do your bit, plant a flowering gum. I don't know how these guys are going to go under this other. They've got a bit of competition from these gum trees that are here already. Well, it won't hurt. This is my great attempt at growing, being a, a gum tree grower. Like I said earlier, I don't think I'd get, I don't think I'd make a career out of this job. But anyway, we'd have a go. That's my motto, isn't it? Have a go. Have a go, you never know. Talking about having a go, me and my trusty cameraman here are thinking about having a go at getting some crowdfunding. What do you reckon about that? we got to we got this crazy idea that if you guys wanted to see us travel around the world doing this bee things around the world, because the European bee, she's gone a fair way across the nations, you know. She's got a lot of humble beginnings and she's in boxes all over the place. So we were, we were thinking, being that's coming into being a bit quiet, you could fund us and we could go over to America and see what the guys are doing over there. Check out the serious players in the bee kingdom. Because we've been talking to young Cody, who runs Cody's lab in Utah, who's done a year in beekeeping. And he said we should come over and have a chat with him and he'll show us, show us what his operation's about. And we thought, well, there's some really cool beekeepers in the top of America, on the, not, what is it, on the skyscrapers in the cities. There's some guys there doing some stuff. There's actually some guys in Adelaide doing some stuff like that too that we might get up to. Um, and then I wouldn't, I reckon the other thing that'd be really cool is down there in California, there's some beekeepers that are actually in California and don't have to travel there for the Armour Blossom. So that'd be cool to catch up with them. And, you know, I don't know, if you'd like to see what's going on in the world of bees, maybe in your own hometown, we could come to you. So looking up some crowdfunding sites. And, of course, most crowdfunding things, they have rewards for different uh, people, you know, given different amounts of money. And so we're thinking we're going to have to do something like that. So we have organised some coffee cups and some badges and stickers and T-shirts and, I don't know, hell, I'm trying to get the cameraman to organise a hat with me logo on it, but that seems to be complicated. Anybody knows who we can get a hat printed, that'd be awesome, because, you know, it's frustrating. Frustrating down here in Oz, some of the things we can't get hold of. But anyway, doesn't matter. So below this video, if you look down a little bit, down here in the old technology department, you'll find a crowdfunding link. And you want to click on there, and we will, by that stage, we will have worked out what prizes and... Will there be prizes? I don't know. 
Anyway, we will have worked out what rewards you're going to get for contributing. But the main reward is going to get to see us do some really wicked ass shit around the world. There it is. Little thing is it's actually real seeded. Little thing it's just popped up there by itself. So the next time you're down your local nursery, or garden centre I guess, like where my wife's normally spending plenty of money, don't forget to buy a plant that the girls will enjoy. Get a bee friendly plant. I reckon they even say on some of the labels, bee friendly, butterfly friendly. Do your part. Save a bee today. I think I better go in and wash my hands after that little bit of excitement. This is just a little demo of what I'm doing. I'm planting a few trees around the place. Could be a little while before it looks like that. I reckon I might be dead before it looks like that tree over there. So if you've made it to this episode, you're at episode 51, and you would have heard us talking about getting a bit of crowdfunding organized, and we've looked into it, and so we reckon we're gonna give it a go. So if you're interested, scroll down to the bottom of the page, check out the link, log on there, and you'll get some more information and find out what sort of stuff you might get in return for crowdfunding us to come and see you.